Since 2004, the Chinese Academy of Tropical Sciences has organized more than 100 international trainings sponsored by international organizations, Chinese ministries, Department of Chinese Governments, which has benefited more than 4,000 participants from some 99 countries. This group of 23 adds to that number, and although tired and jet-lagged, they were eager to share their experiences from the month-long training. The man who was responsible for their travel, Benny Allen, he spoke of how the private partnership began. And those guys still wanted to invest in Papua New Guinea, and also want farmers from Papua New Guinea to go to China to learn um, the farming techniques and you know, everything in China, but all about farming. So um, some of those farmers uh, uh, contacted me and Willie, and we arranged uh, on a short notice for these farmers from Western Highlands, Jiwaka, Eastern Highlands, and Central to go. Two women were also part of the farmers' contingent. The woman known as the Honey Lady in Goroka spoke of the tropical crops they worked with. The tropical crops were coconut, cocoa, rubber, uh, cassava, food crops, uh, cassava, vegetables, and also floriculture. Apart from that, we learn a lot from the village setting, how Chinese people live off their land. Participant John Cole, who is well versed in public service delivery, having spent years working in the public service, highlighted that the government needs to adopt or look into what China is doing as a replica model for PNG. If they do a, we, we do a project in our country, then they'll, they'll come with the technology. Uh, technology is like transfer of uh, know-how, and a training on, on job training is very, very vital, you see. So our farmers can, you know, as a place in a factory, for example, if we do a factory in here like cassava, then, you know, the, from that, you know, practically, we can learn and we can expand. Another participant, Akitawo, said the experience was an eye-opener and called on the government to do more in the agriculture space for the subsistence farmer in the rural areas of PNG. I see is that the government is not going down to the people in the villages. There's no government support in the villages. To alleviate poverty, you must start with the people in the village. So if there's food on the table for a family, then there's no poverty stops there. Team leader of the 23 contingent and first secretary to oil palm minister Francis Maneke, Mr. William Mel Sent, summed up this successful tour. Firstly, I want to thank uh, my minister, uh, Honorable uh, Francis Maneke, to release me uh, to take these farmers uh, with me to China for a month. And I also acknowledge the uh, acting secretary for agriculture, uh, Dr. Simbiken, uh, and uh, my officers. We made, we made it clear, and I'll give a copy of our presentation. The 23 farmers that were selected were from Central, Jiwaka, Western and Eastern Highlands Province. The knowledge and skills they have received from the China trip will enable them to teach other farmers in their rural areas. Rocky Iso, National MTV News.